Hey guys. Okay, so this is the new Little Lizard King um, Lamare pattern here. This is a cute, very cute top, great for the summertime, and they have two options. They have a simple version, and they also have like the front um, button version, okay? That is what I am going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing the button version, okay? So that's the reason why this front piece here is a little is a little longer. Okay, so I'm just gonna show us, tell you what we have. I have my back. This is my back lining. This is also, this is my back facing. This is how we're gonna hem our top. I have two strap pieces. I've already prepared them. So I just got the, got them folded, fold in half. Here, and I'm just going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew, you know, just sew it close here, okay? For both of those, I have my front piece, got two of those. Now my back is on cut on the fold, but my front, since I'm doing the button version, it's gonna be, um, I'm gonna have two, two pieces here, okay? And here is my front lining and I also have my facing you this will be two also since like I said since I'm doing the button version um, you will need some interfacing so light, lightweight interfacing I have already if you can see already attached my lightweight interfacing on both of my own my front two pieces okay so let's get started Okay, so let's get started with our constructing our top here, okay? So I'm gonna grab my back piece here. I'm gonna lay that flat. And then I'm going to grab both of my front pieces. And I'm gonna put those right sides together. Okay, just like this. Matching the side seams. All right, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to pin along both of my side seams here on both side seams and I'm going to take this to the machine and do and sew a half inch seam allowance okay and I will also serge my raw ends and then I will be back okay so I have my side seams um I have my side seams sewn together on my top so now let's do our facing I have my back facing here and you'll have two front facings okay and we're just going to put these together, right sides together, okay? All right. And I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm gonna do a sew a half inch seam allowance, okay? I will also press the top of my raw edge, the raw edge of my facing by a um, 1 fourth inch on the wrong side. And I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. I have my face and sewn together. So I was trying to figure, I think, I strongly suggest that before you um, hem the, hem your facing, lay it on your body. I mean, lay it on your top here to see how it is shaped. Okay, so you see how the, the shape, it's, 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 it goes together, okay? So this right here shows me that this is gonna be the top of my facing. So yes, I am gonna take this to my iron and I'm going to press a 1 4 inch along this top part here. I have my facing done. You see, I pressed it to the, pressed 1 4 inch to the wrong side of my fabric. I brought in my bodice here, okay? And I'm just going to lay my facing on the edge of my top, okay? Matching and making sure that I match my, my sides, you know, my side seams up here. I'm going to pin the bottom edge here and then I will take this to my machine and I will sew a half inch seam allowance, okay? Okay, so I have attached my my facing to my top and I've also understitched it, okay? So what understitching means is, is what I did when I trimmed off my raw ends, trimmed off the one fourth inch of raw ends, I press my raw end downward and then I top stitch along the um that that raw edge here with just a just a regular stitch, okay? I just stitched along the raw, I mean that 
the raw edge here and this is what it looks like on the other side and so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to take this to my iron and press it now press this upward and this just helps helps the lining with well, the facing to not show when you put the dress on and then I'll just stitch I'll stitch my uh, my facing on okay and I'll be back so now we're just going to um, do our placket here our placket piece for our for our buttons and what I'm gonna do is is I am going to fold on both sides my my placket piece here my front piece over one inch and there's the first one inch there okay just like that and then I'll press and then I'll fold it again another one inch okay and then I will take this to my machine and I will sew along this edge here along make a rectangle here on both sides I'm gonna do that and I'll be back okay so my button placket here is done I've also already take, taken this to the machine and did a um, basting stitch. I did an overlap my front and my front button plankets by one inch, and then I just baste the one fourth inch up here at the top here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is let's bring in our straps. Okay. I'm just going to take my strap, both of my straps, and I'm on the right side of my fabric. Um, um, on the front of my fabric and I'm going to just pin and baste these into place okay and now let's just bring in I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna bring in my front and back facing piece all right so now grab your facing pieces here and we're gonna do we're gonna take this we're gonna put these right sides together and I'm going to pin here on both of my side seams and I'm going to just sew a half inch seam allowance. I will serge both of my raw ends and I will also serge along my facing here at the bottom edge of my facing. I'm going to do that now. Alright, so I have sewn and serged my my facing here, okay? Um, what I did here, I used my serger so I just want to let you guys know that I turned off my blade um, so that I wouldn't I wouldn't cut off any of my my seam allowance and stuff okay all right so now now let's grab our our top here and I am going to place these right sides together okay I'm gonna turn my top wrong side out okay All right, so I have my top wrong side out. I'm gonna place my facing inside of my top right sides together, okay? My, yeah? Love you too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna match here at my shoulder seam here. Boom. Match both my shoulder seams, matching my, my lining piece, my facing piece to my top. I'm also going to pin. I'm going to do just one side at a time. I just feel like that would make a little bit more sense to me because I didn't know how to get it in there. Get the straps right without screwing up. Okay. So I'm going to match my side seams here just like this. I'm going to start each side seam. Okay. Boom. And the other side seam. Pin. All right, so right now I'm going to take this to my machine and I'm going to start at one side seam here and I'm going to sew all the way around with the half inch seam allowance, okay? And when I'm done with that, I will be back to uh, do the other. All right, so I did that one side there, okay? So now let's grab my, I'm going to grab my strap piece here, all right? My other strap. And I'm just going to bring it underneath all of that madness, okay? And then I am going to match my my shoulder, my shoulders here. And then I'm going to like flatten this out a little bit, okay? And then pin along. This is my this is my underarm seam here, underarm. 
And then I'm gonna go all the way around my neckline again. And pin. Okay, so I'm getting back, I'm getting over here to my strap piece here. So I'm let's go under here on the other side and I'm gonna find my strap piece underneath. Okay, I got my strap piece and I got that underneath and I'm gonna pin, sandwich it in and pin. And then underarm seam pin. I'm not I'm not sure if this is right if I'm doing like I'm making two steps out of it, but it only made sense to me. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to take this to the machine and I'm going to do the back side. Hold on right here. I need to get that part too. And I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance just like I did the front. And then I will trim. I will trim off and just cut notches in where all my, my curves are so they can lay flat. And then I am going to, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Okay, so I already went ahead and clipped my corners around my, around my top. I also went ahead and did my under stitching along this, along the arms and the neckline here. And I also top stitch. I turned it on right side and I top stitch. So I did all of that off camera just to save a little time. But, so this is what the, this is what your top should look like turn right side out and I've already pressed it and everything. Now, our, so now uh, since all of that is done, my next step is to add my buttons. So let me get my button gauge. All right, so I got my button gauge here and it says that I need to evenly space space my, my buttons down, okay? So from the top here, it needs to be at least a half inch from the top. So let's see. So it needs to be at least a half inch from the top and at least a one and a half inch from the bottom. So let's see, I'm gonna measure here and I see this is half inch here. So I'm gonna put that there. And then the bottom, it says it need, I don't want too many buttons, but it need to be at least an inch and a half from the bottom. So right there, okay? Alrighty, so I'm gonna make sure I keep that my Okay, so, all right, y'all, don't beat me up, but I don't have a, I don't know where my fabric, my fabric pen is. Miley always comes and she gets it, and then she takes it, and she wants to draw everything, and I don't have a clue where it is, so I'm going to use this right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is grab my buttons, move this to the side here, so you can use your machine, or you can use your, or you can just sew them on, okay? So I'm going to grab my buttons here, and I am going to, I got both of my, both of my front and my, my front together, okay? And I'm just going to stitch my buttons on, okay? I'm going to sew my buttons on in those places, just like that, okay? So I'm just gonna sew my buttons on, and after I'm done sewing my buttons on, it's done! All right, I have added my buttons to my top, which is super cute. I think I'm gonna pair this up with the new, the Little Lizard King New Haven, shorties okay and i think this is going to be super cute 